I've had a lot of questions about the photo wallet I did a video on. Um, the first one that I did has uh, music over it, so you don't get any kind of vocal directions or anything. But there are written directions on the screen, and I've had a lot of people ask me a lot of questions about it. Um, in regards to is there a template, is there a pattern, um, and actually there's not. This is something that we were taught at Stampin' Up! Regionals, and basically she just had us tear a piece out of a magazine and make it along with her so that we kind of got the idea of how to do it. Um, several different demonstrators do it different ways. This is the way that I do mine. So I'm going to go ahead and show you and walk you through it. And then um, basically when you fold it, it just makes these pockets. And you put your pictures in it. And there's also pockets on the ends of it that you can put pictures in right here. Just like that. And then when you open it up, you've also got two more pockets here on the inside to put your paper in. Then you just make some kind of binding. You can make it for Halloween, you can make it for Christmas. These are perfect for babies, new babies, grandparents, perfect little things. So you can decorate anyone you want. This is a Halloween one. This is another Halloween one. I just folding. So here we go. I'm going to try to do it. So first thing you need is a 12 by 12 sheet of uh, designer paper, double sided. I haven't made this photo wallet with any other paper other than Stampin' Up's designer paper. Um, it seems to be the perfect lightweight paper for this. I don't know how well it would work with harder, um, thicker cardstock. So you kind of have to play around with it and see what works best for you. Um, so basically you're just going to take your 12 by 12 designer paper. First thing you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half. And you're going to want to use a bone folder if you've got one because this will really help you get the nice creases that you're going to want to have. Because the better it's creased, the better it's going to go together and it's going to look nicer. If you fold it in half, you want to go ahead and open it up. Determine which side of your paper you want in and which side of your paper you want out. And then that will help you kind of decide what you're going to do with it. And then you're going to take, okay, so you have your crease line here in the middle. You're going to want to take your left and right sides. You're going to fold it into the crease line, leaving about 3 16th of an inch from the crease line. If you've got some grid paper or you're using some paper that has lines on it, it's even better because it will help you line it up and get it in the right spot. And you're going to want to go ahead and crease that part as well. And then go ahead and open it up. Do the same thing again on the other side. And see with paper that's lined, you can kind of get an idea. Gives you kind of a line that you can judge from. But you can use any kind of pattern. It doesn't have to have lines on it. Whatever you've got handy laying around. Okay. Once you have that all folded, then you have this. You have this with the opening in the middle. Okay. You're going to want to open it back up. You're going to take your corner into your first line. So you're going to want to take it and fold it in like this. I can see that with stripes it's going to make it kind of hard to see where my scoring line is. And you're going to want to make these little triangles on all four corners of your paper. These are going to actually help make your pockets. And remember, you want to stay towards the left of that score line. You don't want to go over it because then when you fold your paper, this little thing, this little side right here is going to bend up. So you want to make sure when you fold, you're lining it up to the left or the right of your score line, depending on which side of the paper you're folding. You know, like right here, you know, if I go over this way too much, it's not going to, it's not going to be right, and it's not going to score, it's not going to score right. You're going to have a lump in there, you don't want a lump. Okay, so then you're going to want to fold it over like this. Make sure you've got Everything's going nice and flat. Take your bone folder. You can see right there I had it over too far a little bit. 
because they didn't want to lay nice and flat for me. Take your bone folder and just make sure everything's down nice and flat. Okay, at this point you're going to take your paper, you're going to flip it over, and you're going to want to fold this part back. You only want to fold, you're going to have a score line right along the bottom here, and you want it to go right to the edge of that line, kind of like a triangle. You're going to have it want to have your score line end up right there. So to do that, you're going to fold it backwards, find those points, line it up, and fold. Just like that. Okay? So you see how we're just at the point right there? Okay. Okay, once you have that folded, you're still working on this back side, and then you're going to want to take your other end and you just kind of roll it up into the first part that you scored. You're not folding on the, you're not folding it, you're kind of just working it up into there at first. You don't want to score it. You want to play with it and get it in there nice. Right up into the corner. Just keep working it until you get it into the corner. And then once you've got it into the corner, and that's when you're going to want to crease. Just like that. Okay? This is where having the bone folder really comes in handy to give you all those nice tight creases. Okay? And you fold it over. And voila, you have your photo wallet. A nice little line here, a little line there, and on your inside. Now, what I did on the inside to get my pockets, a little half in circle to make it where you can pull it in and pull it out a little better, is obviously like right here, you can pull it out. You're going to take a one inch paper circle cutter, and you got these lines on the side that represent at the half mark. I just slide it in to the edge of my paper to the half. And just punch a half circle. And then do the same thing on the other side. Run it in, punch it out, right to the half. Just like that. And then when you put your cardstock in, you've got a nice little piece to pull it out. And don't forget you got a pocket down here, pocket down here, and your two pockets here. And you just decorate it however you want. You know, I put a tab on the end. Mine's been used and abused basically. You can tie a ribbon around the top, you can make a paper, or anything you want to attach it. Unless, the watch the one in my other video actually I did a different seal, so make it your own, do it as you wish. And these papers, the cardstock cut to hold your pictures that goes on the inside, they measure four and a quarter by two and three quarters. So four and a quarter by two and three quarters and you're going to need six of these. And another thing you can do is make them different colors to match your paper. So I've got black, I've got pumpkin, and I've got mustard to match this cardstock right here. So I hope that helps everybody, gives everybody a better idea of how to make these. If you have any more questions on this, um, let me know. If you need some designer paper, as always, you can purchase it on my website um, or send me an email and I'll be sure to help you out with that. And that's about everything. Have a great day. Thanks.